guys. Nice hat. Britain is the best place in the world to see basking sharks, and yet the way that they live remains a mystery. What we do know is that they come back to our coasts every spring, their huge mouths and gills endlessly filtering for plankton. I can't believe we know so little about this species. This is a huge animal. It lives in the seas of a highly developed nation. We love the sea, we yeah. study the sea, we're constantly out in the sea looking at them, and yet we know very little about them. Lucy's team's been given permission to tag Cornwall's basking sharks. So you can see it looks a little bit like a little submarine. And by learning about where they go, they're hoping to understand more about their behaviour and work out why numbers appear to be so inconsistent. And the most important thing about this is this antenna sticking out the yeah. top. And the antenna is transmitting data up to a satellite above us. There are actually six satellites that can hear this tag. And all the tag's doing really is going, I'm number 754, I'm number 754 or whatever. And the satellites um, together hear it and they can basically triangulate the position of the tag and tell us where on earth the shark is. Which might have been useful because we couldn't find any. Though some other locals did come to say hi. I counted 11. 11? Yeah, I've had 11 as well. Seeing those dolphins was absolutely amazing. But no sign as yet of any basking sharks. I've been told, though, they can be huge, bigger than the length of this boat, up to around 12 metres but they wouldn't be interested in eating us. No, it's this that they're after, plankton. And in order to survive, they'll get through around 1,500 buckets of water every minute. Every year, there's that bit of excitement when we start seeing the plankton at the surface, because we know that any second, we might see that iconic fin cutting through the water with the uh, tail fluke sort of moving backwards and forwards as it's going with its mouth wide open sort of coming in filtering the water um, and as you come they come close up to the boat if we're sitting in the plankton soup and you just look at them and you see this uh, amazing sort of uh, cartilage inside of their mouth that's very skeletal and it almost luminesces it's like this lovely white um, and they're just amazing, amazing does it still pictures. make your tummy flip after all these years it does because they're so huge no sightings for us, but the team wants anyone who sees a basking shark to get in touch and help make sure they keep coming back.